And good afternoon, good evening, fabulites. This is Angela with another edition of Notes on the News Feed, where I read to you headlines from my news feed that are being sent to my Twitter feed, Be Fabulous You, and I give you my comments, my thoughts, if I feel like sharing them. <laughs> some of these articles, I have read the article, some I have skimmed the article, some I have just read the headline, and some I have read the um, the paragraph following the headline. But we're going to jump right in because you know the feed just keep on newsing. The news just keep right on feeding. <laughs> I'm Angela, and the channel is Be Fabulous You. Um, researchers find coral reefs in a place they shouldn't exist okay so is that kind of like the bumblebee where they say the bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly because aerodynamically that's just to let you know that there's a lot that we don't understand we think we know stuff oh the bumblebee shouldn't be able to fly the bumblebee should be able to fly maybe we need to learn more about how the world works to understand that Maybe coral reefs do exist, can exist there because they do exist there. And maybe that's just something we need to expand our, our field of knowledge and perspective to incorporate uh, new stuff in it. Because obviously it's stuff out there that we just don't understand yet. <laughs> <clears throat> Feds probe Indianapolis police shooting a black driver. SSDD. Same stuff, different day. British MP suspended after casually dropping inward slur during Brexit, Brexit panel discussion. I um, skimmed the article because I was trying to figure out the context. Like, was he called or she? It was a woman. Were, were they calling one of their colleagues a name? What, what was the context? And the expression was that we gonna find the n-word in the bottom of the wood pile or something I'm like oh they got a whole new set of expressions over there and my mother is like that's not a new expression that's an old expression have you heard that n-word in the wood pile was that what it was wood bin it was some it was something about wood I'm like mm, that's, that's a new one to me uh, I guess they go old school in Britain okay um High levels of arsenic and lead found in groundwater under a Tennessee coal-fired coal power plant. High levels of arsenic and lead found in groundwater under a Tennessee coal-fired power plant. It seems like it's been a couple of days since I did this or yesterday or whatever and so much has happened. But it seems like they, they really pride themselves in the quality of their water. In this particular plant, they're trying to segregate them and their business from the water. But you know, the thing about segregation or trying to control and manage certain things is that it's like we're all connected like... The whole earth is connected. Our whole water supply is connected. Our air supply is connected. Um, you know, we're connected metaphysically. So it's, it's sort of hard to actually like isolate yourself from the rest of the world. Like me, I eat as I, I try to be conscious um, of how I eat. You know, I've, I have my ups and downs, of course, but um even, you know, like people you love, like when I see my cousin having his, you know, people dealing with diabetes and amputations and um, what is that other, that thing, that chemical process where they go three times a week? What is it called? It's dialysis, which is really, really popular now, but I never really heard of it before. Or, you know, people who don't drink water, you know, it's kind of like we're still connected to other people. Um, you know, we're just, it's, things are connected. That's all I'm trying to say. Things are connected. So it's hard to segregate and isolate. Um, you know, you can do, you can do the best you can, but, um, Idaho news station apologizes for using photo of Black Lives Matter activist DeRay McKesson in unrelated bank robbery story. I was kind of fascinated by that. Now, I'm not a cons. I might be a conspiracy. I might be a conspiracy theorist. I don't know, but it kind of. I was kind of like, dang! Just a minute ago, um, we were all making fun of him 
and you know there were black women or a black you know he was ridiculed by a black person on national tv in front of a lot of white people um as sort of paranoid and as sort of crazy so it's sort of like was that done to discredit him so that then whatever he says people are like oh he's just crazy oh he's just paranoid oh he's just a conspiracy theorist it doesn't mean anything that they accidentally put your picture up as a terrorist or a bank robber or you know it's kind of like uh i don't know um you know i don't know Idaho? Was he in Idaho? I mean, I don't even know how. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the Watts Rebellion, one of the deadliest race riots in U.S. history. I'm not really familiar with the Watts Rebellion. This is probably around the time of the Detroit Rebellion. I was on the um, on on the queue line, and this woman said to me, "We did not have a rebellion in Detroit because there were." Um, um, true um, tanks driving down the street and they don't bring out the tanks unless there's a riot and I was like well somebody could bring a tank out on the street now and that doesn't mean that we're rioting anyway that's totally that's neither here nor there <laughs> white beauty blogger gets dragged for creating the chocolate challenge I guess she paints her face black or brown or whatever chocolatey tones and then makes it up or something Yo, people. Okay. Um, right to bear arms. Like these kind of arms. I'm supposed to be doing these exercises whenever I think about it. Um, U.S. Congresswomen protest against dress code. We talked about that story a little bit the other day. But it's developing. 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 Um, and... I don't even know why. Ooh, look, I still have that scar on my arm. I don't, yeah, I guess it's some stuff I don't understand. Like, you know, why sleeveless is such a big deal. I just, I don't understand. I don't understand. But anyway, I guess it's not for me to understand. Um, city, city life has interesting effects on mental health. Here's how. I think it's probably not too good, right? <laughs> Cat killer. A cat killer. Now, he was a serial cat killer. And I think he did admit to, to killing 19 cats and torturing 21 or something. And I'm, I am I'm, I don't want to say I'm an animal lover, but I'm an empath. I'm empathetic. Like, it's kind of like my dog. I feel like she has feelings and she acts like she has feelings. And I've had cats before. I ain't out here trying to kill animals. I really am not. And I'm not in favor of other people killing. Just, you know, I'm not in favor of like hurting you know and people or or animals or any being i want all may all beings share in my love peace and happiness near far human non-human two-legged four-legged no-legged multi-legged let's let us all share in love peace and happiness but let's let's look at this story so he was this cat killer jailed for 16 years in san jose California a cat somebody who killed 16 cats was jailed for 16 years oh no I don't know I think it was 18 but anyway he cut he killed it was like more than 15 but less than 20 that they know of he probably been killing he probably has made a lifetime hobby I guess is it a hobby when you do crazy ass shit he's obviously mentally ill that's going to be just an ongoing conversation because I just want to, that's, I, yes, okay. But, okay, so, I guess 16 cat lives is more meaningful, more valuable than, you know, a, a black person's life. I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's, got, when I saw that article, I'm kind of like, not that I'm in favor of cat killers not getting killed. Like, you know, it's not like, I'm like, don't kill the cat killers. And it's not even like I'm necessarily in favor. I don't think I'm like a fan of like capital punishment or really the incarceration system. But it's just kind of like, it's interesting how they're just, they're in justice system works. That's, I guess that's, that, I'm gonna leave it at that. It's really interesting and it's telling of the values of the society. 
And when you look at them at the gestalt, not just this case here, or this case here, but you have to, or you don't have to, but I think that you start to get a, a vibration on thing, a pattern of things an understanding of things when you're able to look at them, like don't, you know, when they say you can't see the forest for the trees, don't focus on the individual trees, just kind of, you know, let your, your focus soften so that your inner focus can tune into the larger pattern and story. Um, Hulu plans to ride the success of its breakout hit Handmaid's Tale. Dang, I got to finish watching it and reviewing it. I did watch the other day the last part of American Gods, but I wasn't taking notes. So now I got to watch it again and take notes. Uh, it was good. Um, Miriam Ms. Akani, Ms. Merzakani, Merzakani, Merzakani. <clears throat> First woman to win Math Fields Medal dies. I'm not familiar with the Math Fields Medal. Um, maths, wait. Miriam Merzakani, first woman to win Maths Field Medal dies. So I'm not familiar with the Field Medal, but I love a woman mathematician, a woman scientist, a black scientist, a black math. Uh, science mathematician um and she was the first woman to win this fields medal um so you know i guess rest in peace thanks for your service and her picture it was sort of like i don't know it was something about her eyes and you know she looked and she was relatively young and oh this is what it made me wonder and it made me kind of curious about um she died of cancer or something like that and i wonder about cancer like you know the metaphysical connection with you know the physical illnesses like there's somebody who has a whole body of work where they focus on it louise hey you can heal your life is it you can heal your life but anyway she has a book where she talks about physical ailments and their connection to spiritual ailments or metaphysical ailments or whatever but um you know and cancer i think is associated with like anger directed inward and, um, you know, I know that those environments of, of science and math can be very hostile. Society in general, I think, can be very hostile to women, even white women. Um, but when you're in, you know, certain fields, it, white men can be mean. So, I mean, I just wonder about how much anger she was like internalizing and if that caught. Because it seemed like she was less than 40 and she made her transition. Um... And that's all I got, fabulous folks. So I, I kind of took a little bit of a break because um, I, I got a script, I got a performance, I got a rehearsal on Thursday, and I've never done this rehearsal before. And then I got the show on like Friday or Saturday. I don't even know. So I got to learn my lines, and I am I got a show coming in up in August that I'm supposed to be directing, and I just read the script yesterday i had read it once like seven months ago but i'm i'm assistant directing the main production but i'm directing the reading at sidewalk festival detroit august 4th or 5th park players um young to be young gifted and black but um i just got to get my life together i you know i got some some and then i got a, a group uh, some work i'm doing tomorrow and i need to do some work for that and then i'm trying to go see sweet honey and the rock like basically like not right now but like go get situated like right now to be you know so it's kind of like it's just a lot going on and Shakespeare in the Park yesterday was excellent if you happen to be in Detroit and and see this video I don't even know I think there's a show today but Hamlet it was a um the the production quality it reminded me of when I used to go see Shakespeare in the park in New York and they had like professional actors like Angela Bassett was in one of the shows I saw and I'm sure all the other people were like professional quality actors and it would be excellent and yesterday's show I could really understand what was going on like you know usually I feel like when I go see Shakespeare it's kind of like you just get the gestalt like you more or less can kind of piece together and figure out what's going on but it was like moment to moment I could like basically understand what I just felt like the acting was excellent but I just got a lot to do. So, um, you know, we just, we, we, we get it done. We fit it in where we can fit it in and we keep it moving. So that's what I'm going to do. And you know what I want you to do? I want you to be you. Be fabulous. Be fabulous, you. Goodbye, darling.